With the specter of World War II looming across the American landscape, the Alabama Crimson Tide found itself beginning the 1940 season as the preseason favorite to win the Southeastern Conference Championship despite Tennessee's claim to that title the previous three seasons. The prediction seemed to be a mistake by the time Alabama played its second game of the year against Mississippi State on October 4 in Tuscaloosa. Crippled by mistakes and breakdowns on special teams, Alabama found itself 1-1 one one after a 14-0 loss to the Bulldogs. Alabama would lose only one more game that season to Vanderbilt, which had a young assistant coach named Paul W. Bear Bryan on staff. But after each loss, the Crimson Tide bounced back strong. It overcame the Mississippi State loss in order to trounce Howard 61-0 at Birmingham's Legion Field. Jimmy Nelson scored on a 95-yard kickoff return to start the second half. Before it was over, the third and fourth team units had accounted for 34 points on their own. After going down to Vanderbilt, the Crimson Tide headed south to Miami, where it took on the Hurricanes in the second night game in Alabama history. With Nelson and fellow halfback Dave Brown running roughshod, the Crimson Tide left South Florida with a 21-7 victory and earned an invitation to the Cotton Bowl. But before Alabama could suit up for that January 1, 1942 matchup, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor. All told, World War II cost Alabama six players that season, including Ray and Robert Hudson, the twin brothers of Crimson Tide legend Don Hudson, and fullback John Hanson, a preseason favorite for captain.